Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at my two snare drums that I use on my VAD 507 kit and um, break these two down. So uh, I hope that you find this helpful. Here's what we'll do. We'll uh, accomplish these three things. First, I'll give you a quick overview of these two drums and compare them a little bit. They're obviously very different from each other. And then um, we'll open them up. Let's take a look inside and compare both of them to see uh, what the sensors look like, the build quality of the drum. And then lastly, I'll give you my opinion uh, if I think either one of these are worth it and who might be the right kind of person that would prefer one or the other or, or neither. So why don't we just jump right in. So what we have here are a proper snare drum from Roland. This is the Roland PD-14DS. So this is their digital snare drum. And it goes for $850 at most major um, music stores online or in person. And then this is the Roland PDA-120L. And this is really more of a uh, all-purpose drum. We'll get more into that in a second. And this one goes for about $270. So what are they? This is a digital snare drum from Roland introduced um, a few years back. And it uses, it's their digital V-drum snare. And it uses a type USB Type-A connector to connect to its drum module. Get more. I'll get more. Um, provide more on that in a moment. The the PDA 120 uses a quarter inch jack, uh, stereo jack, right out of the back to plug into its module. Now, uh, the kind of the, some of the differences that seem pretty obvious. Uh, one's a 14 inch, so this one's 14 by six, rim to rim, and this one's 12 inches by five inches. So first off, on the digital snare drum, this is this. Roland says this has eight sensors across the head and rim to accurately capture the the strikes in high resolution sound and the triggers and in, in, in accurate positional sensing as well. So what that means is that if you've got the right drum module, it will and you set this up properly in the drum module, it'll take you through a little sort of self serve tutorial, and you will hear the difference between more similar to an acoustic drum where when you hit it toward the, toward the edge, you get more of that ping, a little bit more of a ring, right? On an acoustic drum, same here. And as you get closer to the center, you'll get the, the main full sound of the drum. And now both drums will work as a, um, part of me, the digital snare drum will work on the cross stick. When you hold the stick down and you're making the cross stick on the rim, you'll get a really nice feel uh, in that regard too. So you can play it more as an acoustic drum Whereas here, you don't have that. You have what they call dual sensoring. Basically, it's head and a rim, which is nice as well. And the reason I have this, if I, you're wondering, why do I have this drum if I already have a great snare with the digital snare, which is arguably one of the top snare drums in the market? This is really something I bought as a spare, just in case, and something I thought would be fun to use with my Roland SPDSX Pro as I set that up as a, a small drum kit. So program that and use a, a drum samples across the nine pads. I'll mount this to the stand of that SPDSX, and then I just plug in a, a, um, a kick drum pedal from Roland, and there I go. There I have a, um, a, a mini kit for those smaller spaces sometimes to, that we need to play in. So. Um, as you can see here, and, if, if, and as you've probably heard in my other videos, um, I use the, the Drum Tech Real Feel uh, three-ply drum heads. Now this does come with the Roland three-ply mesh drum head, uh, which is different than some of their other drums that come with only a two-ply like this one. So you get more of a real feel from the Roland three-ply as well. Now some of the obvious differences as well, this has eight lugs, this has six lugs, and the the compatibility of these drums with the different drum modules is different as well. So um, because this is the digital snare drum and requires a USB-A connection, only two drum modules will work with this, and that's the Roland TD-27 and the Roland uh, TD-50 or TD-50X. Uh, whereas with the, the quarter-inch jack, this will work with Roland drum modules as well as a variety of other drum modules. So. Second, let's go ahead and take these apart and compare the insides.
Now you can take a look at the bottom of these drums first of all, and you can tell that they're they're a bit different. So they have the the sensors are built into this basket, and uh, of course in this one as well. Now something interesting that's different than the other Roland drums that these have these 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 uh, receptors for for your lugs, for your screws, that are a bit loose when you don't have them in, right? And so this doesn't have a, a top and bottom bottom head like the Tom drums do on the VAD 507 or VAD 706 drum kits. So something something different there. Uh, I don't know if Roland is thinking about maybe upgrading or improving that at some point. It would be nice, but it won't have a difference on your sound. It's just kind of a look and feel. Okay, so now we have got we've got the we've got both drums open. You can see here. I'll leave it on the overhead on the overhead cam. You can see here. So Roland says that we've got actually eight sensors across the head and the rim. So what they've done is they've built in in this plastic basket, which I can take out here carefully. Here we go. In this plastic basket, you've got the four positional sensors. And then sensors built into these plastic components that is snapped on, snapped on with with this with this uh, with this metal piece here. So it's and it's going to pick up the outside rim shots. You can hit it as a rim shot, cross stick, or just on the head. So it's very interesting what you can do with this kind of drum head. Very dynamic, very sensitive. And then as you can see. Uh, I picked up a bit of dust along the way, so I'll give that a cleaning. And then this one that I don't play as much is similar to the similar to the 12-inch uh, rack tom or the 14-inch floor tom from my VAD 507 uh, drum kit, where it has three sensors as well as the rim shot, um, the, the the sensor on the rim. If you want to program a different sound on the rim from the from the drum head. But this one will not give you the positional sensing across the drum head from the edge into the middle like you would on the, uh, the VAD um, um, V-Drum digital drum, uh, snare drum from Roland. So uh, some of the key differences that I would, that I would um, point out, it depends uh, for, for those who are looking at these kind of drums, it really depends on your needs and your budget, right? So this has a high price tag of $850 compared to $270 for this drum. Now, they're both high quality drums. This one has uh, the wooden drum shell, um, no lugs on the bottom since it's only five inches, um, five inches deep. But, but what you get here is a, uh, a, high quality, a high quality product on both sides. So if you have the money to spend, you want really one of the most dynamic, um, sensitive snare drums in the market for electronic drums, you spend the 850, or uh, you go with um, you know the the, the the 270 for the Roland PDA 120. Now, bottom line depends on your budget, depends on what you're trying to accomplish. It d also depends on the um, the module that you have. If you have a TD27 or a, a TD50, then this would be a great complement to uh, to upgrade your your uh, spectrum of sounds uh, that you can that you can trigger from the electronic drums. So I hope you found this helpful and stay well until I see you in the next video. Thanks.